Binks family, the time has come for Binks to save his dreadlocks. Now if it ain't self-explanatory already, I'm gonna tell you what we're doing in this video. I'm gonna try to clean my dreadlocks up and just get them back to looking thicker and healthier, kind of when I first started my dreadlocks. I feel like what I'm going to do in this video is gonna give me the results I'm looking for. I want to rebirth my original dreadlocks. If you guys are ready for this video, make sure you go down below and hit the like button. It helps the channel out a lot, and I'm giving you guys some good content, so I mean, that's like the least you can do, please. I mean, you don't got to, but like, it helps. So to break this video down, what we're going to be doing is doing an ACV wash. An ACV wash stands for apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar, I think people use this kind of stuff to cook. We don't just use this though, we also use some baking soda, and as well we're going to be using a lemon. An ACV wash, I'll get more to that when we actually get to that portion of the video, but the second portion of this video is going to be me brushing out my dreadlocks. So after I ACV wash my hair, I'm going to brush out my dreadlocks just to get them more fluffier. The third portion of this video, I'm going to actually wash wash my hair with shampoo and conditioner just to try to get out anything that I maybe have missed. The fourth section, I might end up brushing my hair out one more time, I'm not sure, and I might actually retwist my dreadlocks as well in this video. I'm gonna wing the fourth section of this video. I did have box braids in the other day. I only had them in for like 24 hours and I took them out. But when I wash my dreadlocks, they're not gonna be crinkly no more. So anyway, we're gonna get into the ACV wash. I'm probably going to use most of this, if not all of it. This stuff on the bottom kind of looks a little nasty. I ain't gonna lie, so I'm just gonna shake that up. I'm gonna be putting the camera down so you guys can see what I'm doing in the sink, but I just wanna tell you guys what I'm gonna do. So I'm basically just gonna fill the sink up with some warm water, and then I'm gonna end up putting some of this apple cider vinegar in the water probably like half of the apple cider vinegar into the water because I'm gonna wash my hair two times. Then I'm gonna cut one of these lemons in half and then squeeze both lemons into the water. And once the vinegar is in there, the lemon's in there, I'm gonna put baking soda in there. Then I'm gonna put my dreads in and I'm gonna wash my dreads. I'm just gonna kind of go like this a little bit. It's basically just like rubbing my dreadlocks together. An ACV wash is supposed to deep clean your dreadlocks and get any buildup out that you have. I do have this little thing to scratch my scalp, so I might use this too. But anyway, it's time to get into the ACV wash. What I'm gonna do is just turn the hot water on just to get the water hot. The water's heating up, so I'm just gonna close this, let the sink fill up a little bit. So the first thing I'm gonna do, like I said, is dump half of this bottle of apple cider vinegar inside of this water. You're gonna see this water change like a brownish color. There we go. Just gonna mix this around a little bit. Now I'm going to cut one of these lemons. Oh, oh, oh. Just like so. And we could use lemon juice if you don't have regular lemons, but we're just gonna use this. Squeeze this in here. Last but not least, we're gonna get this baking soda and we're gonna dump this inside of the water. This thing is probably gonna start fizzing up, so you guys can listen to that. All right, I'm gonna hurry up and dump my head in here. I'm gonna set a timer for three minutes and I'm just gonna wash my hair. So some people like to get their new growth and untwist it just so that this stuff could work inside their hair a little bit better. I don't wanna scratch my head too hard cause I don't wanna end up messing around and cutting myself on my head and then having this stuff get inside my actual scalp cause that's not gonna be good and it's gonna burn. So there goes the timer. Now, the water is a little bit more dirty. Then again, I haven't really did this to my hair for a long time, so there's probably just like six, seven months to probably just build up this inside of my hair. It's like locking gel and it's probably just like hair oil and stuff like that. So of course it's gonna be a little bit more dirty than when I first started. For now, I'm just gonna drain this out. <sighs> I'm gonna let my hair drip a little bit. As far as dirt in the sink, because I know a lot of people do videos of showing what the sink look like, there's really not that much dirt in the sink. Um, I mean, I could bring the camera closer so you can see, but there's really not that much dirt inside this sink. You know, so my dreadlocks weren't really horrible. I'm gonna do this process one more time. You guys already know what I'm gonna do. Fill the sink up, dump the stuff in there, wash my hair for three minutes, and then take my head out. And then after that, we're gonna get on to the second section of this video. That was the second wash for my dreadlocks. I'm just gonna wring them out now. Two washes, back to back. Now the water got dirty once again. So uh, of course my dreadlocks still must have had dirt on them after the first wash. Now I'm just gonna empty this all out. Now all this little stuff is garbage. So I'm just gonna throw all this out. 
All right, so up next, I'm gonna end up jumping in the shower and I'm gonna wash my dreadlocks. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna use to wash my dreadlocks. This is whatever shampoo or conditioner you usually use for your dreadlocks. It ain't nothing special. I'll be going back and forth using different stuff, but right now I just found this like little shampoo right here by Shea Moisture. I usually like Shea Moisture's products. They do pretty well for me, so. I just tried this little avocado new one. So I got shampoo and conditioner. So first thing I'm gonna do is shampoo my hair. Then I'm gonna condition my hair just to try to get off any apple cider vinegar because I don't want this to stay in my dreadlocks because it might accidentally kind of fade my dreadlocks out with all this acidic stuff in them. So I don't want this to stay in my hair. So I'm gonna jump in the shower right away, wash them, and then I'm gonna show you guys what my hair look like. I'm not really sure if I wanna brush my dreadlocks before or after this shower. Matter of fact, I might just do this now. I might just brush my hair now. Hold on. All right, now brushing your dreadlocks is exactly what it sounds like. You're going to get a brush and just brush your dreadlocks. Now, this brush right here is a hard bristle. Then I also got a soft bristle right here. The hard one is most likely just going to make your hair a little bit more fluffier. This is going to be pulling out any type of little small hairs that you guys got in your dreadlocks. I'm just going to get this brush. I'm literally just going to brush my hair out like this. This one's gonna make your dreadlock a little bit more frizzier. Now, anytime I think of dreadlocks that are like thick and healthy, I always think that they have a little bit of frizz in them. It's because they're so thick that it's hard to kind of keep solid and keep it together. This dreadlock right here is a lot more skinny and the one I brushed out is a lot more thicker and frizzy looking. So that's kind of the goal of what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to have like thicker, frizzier dreadlocks because that kind of just reminds me of my first beginning stages of when I started. You could either brush these out one by one or you could get a whole scoop of dreadlocks like this and then just brush the whole thing. Now, this is kind of like the same method people use when they like to do wicks on people's hair. Like, say they want to make their regular dreadlocks into wicks. Usually, most stylists like to brush out people's dreadlocks first. To make this easier, I'm just going to brush everything at the same time. Once you do this, it's not like your dreads are going to stay like this. Eventually, they're going to go back to normal. But this should give you this effect for a while. Now, my dreadlocks are brushed out. I don't really know if you can tell the difference, but they're a lot more frizzier now than usual you know so by the time i'm done taking a shower shampooing conditioning my dreads and conditioning should make my hair a little bit more softer so when i brush it a second time it should come out a little bit more fluffier than this so um that's what i'm gonna jump in the shower and do right now so i'm gonna catch you guys in a couple minutes so boom, I'm out the shower. I know I got another black t-shirt on, it is not the same. I just got multiple black t-shirts as I think most people do. Anyway, my dreadlocks really haven't changed that much, but I definitely just wanted to take a shower just to get any of the apple cider vinegar out. They really didn't get too puffy, but they are a little bit more moisturized. So I actually kind of want to brush my hair out again just before my hair gets harder and just like doesn't have as much moisture in it. So I want to get to it while it's soft. Before I do that though, I want to restore the oils in my hair. So I'm gonna use some black castor oil. Just put it on dreadlocks. I'm done putting the oil in my hair, so I'm now about to just go in with the hard brush, then I'm going with the soft brush, and by the end of this, we're gonna see if something changed. All right, now the process is done, all right? I could use a blow dryer and maybe it'll probably puff up a little bit more, but I'm not gonna do that. I just wanted to see what this was gonna do. I feel like it did something, cause it's not the same. So it did, I feel like, what it needed to do, if that makes sense. My dreadlocks look a lot thicker and a little bit more fuller than before. If you look at them, they're like, they look a lot more thicker, a little bit more saturated, and a little bit more healthy. But anyway, I appreciate you guys following me this far into the video, taking this journey with me on trying to restore my dreadlocks. I do feel a whole lot fresher, especially after the ACV wash, which I really needed. Usually my dreadlocks feel a lot lighter just because it gets a lot of gunk out your hair. For everybody new coming to the Binks family, I appreciate you guys. This month in August, we're gonna most likely hit 9,000 Binks family members, so I'm excited for that. And as well, we're gonna be hitting 1 million in total views on this channel. All this stuff is lit, and as well, I do have a new EP dropping. If you guys don't know, I make music and I have a new music channel. If you guys have not subscribed to it, you guys need to go over there and follow it. If you guys are really messing with the Binks family on everything that we do, I think I'm gonna drop like eight songs on the EP. I do take this music stuff kind of seriously, and as well, I do drop all my music on like Spotify and Apple Music. So you guys could go listen to it over there, but for free, you guys could watch it and listen to it on YouTube. Not sure when I'm gonna release the music, but I know it's gonna be this month, so August is gonna be pretty lit for us. Besides all that, I don't want to make this outro too long, so Binks family i hope you have a good rest of your day evening or night whenever you're watching this and i'll catch you in the next video